SLAM 2022 Lifetime Achievement Award for Cultural Music. Ami Kalon is certainly the most celebrated female traditional song star from the Mende tribal group. Her musical prowess has survived decades, transitioning from local instruments of beaded shabule and drums, and is now melding in the acoustic of computers to produce albums that expand her fame and audience. Ami rose to prominence in the 80s, although she's been singing long before that time. She has inspired many of the younger Mende musicians, both male and female. Ami Kalon played an important role during the Sierra Leone Civil War between 1991 and 2002, as she was one of few artists who continued producing music and made public her views on the rebels. She sings in the native tongue. Part of her repertoire are parables and Mende folklore. A live performance of her includes eight to ten instrumentalists and dancers. It is really unclear when she started her career. In the year 2021, Ami Kalon was, was invited by the First Lady Fatima Bio to attend the Dubai Expo. She, recount, she recounts the experience in gleeful redemption of the song she's currently writing. Giya Dubai, Gowawe. It translates, she has gone to Dubai and returned. When Ami returned back to Kenema, Kenema was very proud of her achievement and her being able to go to the Dubai Expo. The 72 year old traditional song star retraced her musical genius at age 12. She comes from a family background of musical prodigy. Her late father was an expert drummer and Islamic scholar. Also, her aunt was a gifted singer. The duo influenced Ami Kalon to a large extent in becoming the national icon she is today. For Ami Kalon, her music is antidotal, suggesting that even if you are sick in bed, you can find relief by just listening to the melodious voice and sagely vibes interlaced with matching rhythm that appeal to all tribal groupings. Ami Kalon was married to Mr. Sanu Fofana in the village of Limba Babo, but poverty separated them, which was the more reason why she intensified her musical career. After 10 years of separation between her first husband, the committed cultural songster was on a musical stage plying her trade from place to place in the countryside. Her beauty and phenomenal musical voice mesmerized Chief Salia Koroma of Futa Peju, chiefdom. They then got married till he passed away, after which she also remarried. The Sierra Leone's finest traditional female musical icon gave birth to six children. Four are alive and two have answered to the inevitable call of God. Ami Kalon is nearing retirement and her fear is who will fill her place when she's going to pass. She has earmarked and currently trained two of her biological two children and two grandchildren to succeed her legacy. She has featured them on many of her hit songs. One of her daughters, who's a nurse, has also produced a traditional song recently. She said one of her recent popular songs, Jimebo, has inspired many Sierra Leoneans to inculcate the habit of going into traditional music. She has also featured lo local artists, especially the ambassador of Sierra, Leone's con of Sierra Leone's entertainment industry, Dennis Ture, a.k.a. Cal De Niro, who also featured her on a track. However, with all her over 60 years of prominence in the traditional musical limelight, the true legendary traditional music icon, Ami Kalon, has no accommodation for her and her crew. She's faced with acute mobility and accommodation challenges. She recently purchased two acres of land, which was launched by the Ministry of Tourism as a future dwelling place for traditional dancers and singers in the country. Another mind-boggling issue to the 72-year-old Ami Kalon, and even among her fans and SLAM today, is who will replace her. Who can replace Ami Kalon with cultural music, with her mesmerizing voice? This is the one million dollar question the whole country asks. And 
she, as she works to build that like that, that that village that legacy that place for all others slam joins ami kalan to help raise funds towards a future cultural village <laughs>